Ben Higginbotham, the thetechnologyevangelist.com here in the Wacom, I believe I got that right, yeah. booth. And I've always wondered how to pronounce that. It was Japanese for uh, Harmony, uh, the Walk is Harmony, and the Com is for Computers, right? That's correct. All right, so I now know why the name of the company is so strange and hard to pronounce. Uh, and um, uh, we've got the, the new uh, Cintiq tablet. Did you get that one right? Yep. We, all right. we actually don't necessarily all call it a tablet. We call it an interactive pen display. Well, you know, that's an interesting point because I've got, there are all these tablet PCs out there, right? And some of them have your tablet t technology built into them, but I wouldn't call them nearly as accurate as your traditional tablets. I've got, I've got one sitting at my desk. It doesn't have the display built in. So what is the advantage of this over, say, a tablet PC with it built into the tablet PC technology? Many, many advantages. First of all, actually Wacom does about 98% of the tablet PCs okay, out there. Yep. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lenovo, HP, Gateway, yep. um, HP, um, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, I've been talking a lot today. Um, anyhow, so the, the benefits are, first of all, it's a lot more accurate. Mm -hmm. our, and, our, and that was the issue I had on the tablet PCs, is you put your pen down and it, it kind of jitters a little bit and it moves a little bit. It's not right, as precise. Right, right. So the, the resolution on our uh, tablets are, is 5080. Also, we have 1,024 levels of pressure sensitivity on our pen. Okay. So they're very sensitive and it just adds to the creative control, the comfort, and the productivity that you need to produce when you're working on an interactive pen display. Can you compare that to what I would see on an actual tablet PC that's built into a, a tablet? Yeah, generally tablet PCs run either 256 or 512 levels of pressure sensitivity, and the digitizer technology is not as advanced as you would see in either the Intuos 3 pen tablet or our uh, Cintiq line. So this is new Uh It came out in December. Correct. And what's great about this? Uh, first of all, it breaks several milestones. First of all, it's uh, 999, so that breaks the $1,000 barrier, which is a huge thing in the interactive pen display world. Yep. Uh, it's a great companion display. So somebody working with a larger monitor or dual monitor setup, uh, this is a great way to work because you can do some easy storyboarding, maybe retouching or editing photos. It makes it very, very simple to use. Yep. Now I remember when I have I have a traditional uh, tablet that doesn't have a display built into it. And there are a bunch of nice shortcut keys, so when I go into Photoshop, my keys all kind of turn into a little. You know, you can just use the pen, or I can grab different types of pens, and the tablet will understand what pen I picked up. Right. So I don't have to constantly. All that technology is still built into this as well. Correct. And uh, actually, speaking of accessory pens, you can use, for example, our airbrush pen, or we have what's called a 6D art pen. So within Photoshop, Illustrator, and Corel Painter, uh, it actually recognizes barrel rotation. So the artist's twist of the hand, so it actually picks up that configuration. Yep, that's, that's really cool. Oh, it's these, awesome. These are great. Actually, I'm a, I work in video, and even in video editing, when you're working in a timeline or color correction or, or trying to tweak something, the tablet has come in and it's been a lifesaver more than once for me. Right. And uh, it's been, I've had them since before they were USB, and then I had to upgrade to USB, and they were better, and I just kept upgrading. And this is the one I've wanted. Actually, I wanted that one, the really big one. I think that's like 2500 or 35 That That one's expensive. Yeah. But, uh, you know, this, this is much more realistic. What's the resolution on this panel? This one is uh, 1280 by 800. And as you were mentioning, the bigger Cintiq, it's uh, 1600 by 1200. Yep. And so these are the shortcut keys and everything on the side. Yep, we've got the express keys. These are called and touch strips. So for example, uh, within Photoshop, I had this one set for brush size because I'm right-handed. This yep. makes it very easy. This side I had set to zoom. Okay. And then any other shortcuts or modifier keys that you would normally use, it gets you away from the keyboard and allows you to concentrate on your work. Could you just jot something really quick so people can kind of see uh, what it looks like? Absolutely. So uh, this is actually Alias Sketchbook, a nice little program. Cintiq 12 WX. So as you can see, it's very smooth, very natural, it's and very uh, clean as opposed to like one of those tablet PCs where it's all it's just dirty and you can kind of see the lines that absolutely moved off in your hand. Not that tablet PCs are bad or anything. They're just designed for something totally different. Correct. This is designed for the artist. The tablet PC is designed for just drawing something out. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. All right. And what's the interface of here? DVI and USB? Uh, correct. Now all our products you can either connect DVI or VGA and it's powered via USB. And that means Mac or PC or uh, Linux as well? Uh, yep, we do Linux also. Um, about 30% of our customers are Mac based, believe it or not. But that makes sense since we cater to the creative community. Yep, absolutely. Available now is available in December, I believe. Actually, as is the larger tar uh, tablet. This one's $9.99. That was way more. That one, that one is way more, yes. And you can do it at www.wacom.com.